Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today we're going to look at a vintage pencil. And a buddy of mine was cleaning out a house uh, here in the Detroit area and came across these pencils. And uh, there's a dozen of them here. I've pulled one out, but... Um, doesn't look like it was ever used, but uh, the wrapper uh, is cardboard, uh, the sleeve, one dozen lead pencils made in USA. Of course, we know there's no lead in these pencils, but that's what they say. I don't, there's no marking in terms of manufacturer. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe some of my pencil pals out there might recognize this looks like a very generic kind of a sleeve, maybe familiar with the company that used these uh, when they made pencils. But let's take a look at the pencil itself. And this is a pencil, first and foremost, Ford Motor Company, number two. Quality and safety are everybody's business. So I'll say growing up in the Detroit area, and particularly in the neighborhood I lived in, so many people were employed by Ford Motor Company. Uh, or uh, And then if it wasn't Ford, it was Chrysler or General Motors. Or another big supplier of automotive components. Um, uh, there were just there's so much industry automotive related in the Detroit area. Um, was, everybody had some connection to an auto company. Anyways, I remember being in school and seeing these pencils everywhere because if somebody's mom or dad worked at Ford, well, I hate to say it, but uh, some of the office supplies came home with them. And uh, I remember seeing these. Chrysler Corporation had uh, beautiful blue pencils uh, with, a, with a white imprint on them that said Chrysler Corporation and the Pentastar logo. I'd love to find some of those. I'm sure there must be some around uh, the Detroit area. But anyways, these Ford Motor Company pencils were, were very prevalent things. Quality and safety are everyone's business. Uh, I'm quite sure they came in a variety of um, core grades. This one, again, is a number two. Let's take a look at the pencil from top down. Actually, let's let's put them all here so we can kind of see all of them. Uh, you know, if you look, the cores, uh, there's a few that are off of a little bit, but for the most part, the cores are all pretty well centered. Uh, hard to tell. I'm not picking up any kind of scent from these pencils, uh, but from the color of them, they may very well be cedar. We'll see. I might get a better, better uh, sniff once we get one sharpened. Uh, very soft hex shape. Then, uh, of course, the imprint is gold. You know, this is almost a left-hander, the way that it's oriented here. Um, and we've got... A gold imprint on the two sides and a ferrule you can see that it is sort of uh, kind of a brassy goldish tone and an eraser that isn't quite as hard as a rock but it's fairly firm these pencils have got to be 50 years old, probably. So, anyways, uh, here they are. And uh, I'm anxious to get one sharpened and see how this pencil writes. 
so I've got her sharpened up here. Uh, you can see uh, it didn't sharpen quite evenly, but I do believe it's a cedar wood pencil from the smell. Sure smells like it. Uh, and but uh, it's got a, a pretty decent point again perhaps the core is a little off on this one it, it looked centered but uh, sharpened sort of off center so let's let's do some writing here say are everybody's okay there it is Hmm. Okay. Uh, general impressions. Uh, it is a hard number two um, on on a scale. Uh, it feels more like a two and a half. Uh, uh, but um, it's a little scratchy, and it's yeah, it's not a super smooth pencil. Um, I don't know. I would say it's okay, uh, but perhaps whoever made these pencils, uh, the wood seems very nice. However, like I said, the core um, uh, has a bit more clay in it than than I think a, a more contemporary number two pencil would have. At least one made in the U.S. Uh, not that there's that many, but but I would say that I think you can see in terms of tone, it's on the lighter side. We'll put a little bit more down here. I'm not going to try the attached eraser. I think I think that won't end well. So um, let's try a couple standard block erasers here and see how this pencil erases the Pentel. You know, I'm guessing that these are pencils that were used uh, generally throughout the office at Ford Motor Company. Um, their headquarters were and still are in Dearborn, Michigan. There's the pink pearl. Uh, what else can we put on this? How about a gum eraser? I'm also wondering if the engineers at Ford used these pencils or if they were probably 
using more mechanical uh, or lead holders. Well, take a look at that. I think it erases well for sure. Um, so in terms of erasability, we'll give it an A because it did erase beautifully. Um, but we're not, <clears throat> again, we're not attempting to try the attached eraser here. Um, let me do a little bit more writing. So, I would say, uh, again, on the light side, on the scratchy side, on the harder side for a number two. And <laughs> uh, for a right-hander, it's also sort of um, uh, oriented uh, for incorrectly for a right-hander, correctly for a left-hander. Not that that really matters, but uh, the performance of the pencils. Just the same real fun to try the this uh, these uh, beautiful looking um, vintage Ford Motor Company pencils so thanks for being a part of this one and if you like what I do around here uh, go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button and I'll look forward to seeing you again real soon right here on always analog